This is the victim for today's Air Cannon video. What I have here is a Memorex 20 inch CRT TV. It does power up as you can see, but it's stuck on channel 3. The sound no longer works, and uh, I can't even bring uh, the menu up on it. All I can do is receive this beautiful snow pattern. So I think it's ready for the uh, caliber 565 lead slug that can be seen sitting on top of the TV. There we go, a look at the slug. Let's get out the tools and the angle grinder and get this TV ready to be placed in the target area. I'll of course be uh, opening the case and I'll be also cutting the implosion band to get a better result. So far I've managed to get the back off the TV without breaking it, so now I'll set up to cut the implosion band. I was able to successfully cut away the top of the TV with the grinder and then cut and peel back the top of the implosion band. So this TV is now ready to go to the target area and I can set up the air cannon. The TV's been placed downrange in the target area now, about 10 meters away from where the air cannon will be set up. For today's air cannon video, I'm going to be using the fire extinguisher tank and solenoid valve air cannon. I've mounted the 72-inch long caliber 565 breech loading barrel and I'm going to be firing the slug shown right here, caliber 565, 500 grain lead slug. Firing pressure will be 350 PSI to engage this TV. Here's a view over the cannon sights and uh, down range of the TV. Let's take out this TV. seems that I succeeded in hitting the television. containment area seems to have worked well. Uh, the glass will be 
easy to clean up here. It's pretty much all confined near the TV. Only a few pieces uh, made it farther forward, like, for instance, that corner of the CRT right there. Very occasionally, when I shoot one of these, the HV will remain running afterwards, but on this Memorex TV, sadly, that was not the case. We can see the flyback, and everything's dead here. This one shut down when it was hit. Made a pretty good rack of this one, though, and I was careful, as always, to make sure that my slug passed over the circuit board so I can salvage components. Here's a look at the recovered lead slug. I found it in with some of the glass in front of the TV. There's the base of it, so it obviously uh, caught the rifling in my barrel and traveled point first, mushrooming somewhat as it passed through the TV and then on into my steel backstop. It's always nice to recover the slug and see what happened to it. 